Hello there. So today uh, we're gonna see what Curves tab has to offer and see each comment in order. So first, uh, I'm gonna draw a curve with a uh, draw comment. And like that. Do. So first you you get the, the close comment which just close curves you have the attach uh, command with uh, which gonna allow you to just attach uh, curves Then you get a uh, curve bevel, uh, and to to do a curve bevel, you need to uh, to uh, uh, to hold the right mouse button and go to curve point, drag one point uh, uh, to 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 trace that area of where the bevel happened, and a second point holding shift and. Here it is, and just hit curve bevel, and then you can tweak that with your middle mouse button, um, holding control uh, while adjusting the value with my, with my mouse, so it goes more slowly. Then I might push that point forward. And so, um, I'm going in object mode and just stealing the history so we don't get uh, funky attributes. And uh, then there is a curve pool which just intersects uh, intersect, uh, two curves or more. So, curve pool. And then you get uh, one kind of a result. And then, <coughs> excuse me, you have a curve precision uh, which are uh, gonna allow you to. Uh, multiply the resolution uh, of your curve by two in a incremental fa uh, fashion. So just hit that selecting the curves, and you can do that with uh, 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 several curves at the same time. Curve precision, curve precision. As you can see, we have density here. <coughs> So uh, now uh, mesh slicer. So mesh slicer is uh, basically just cut uh, the mesh with uh, um, the curve. So to do that, uh, I'm, gonna I'm gonna do some quick modeling and gonna use that curve as the profile and hit uh, with my mouse in a modeling viewport and that window in in the modeling in a modeling viewport too uh, just hit mesh slicer and then you get perfect cut right here so it's based on uh, the dominant view plane in inside the viewport so now I'm facing X so you got a projects on X uh, now Z and Y and so on
then what you can do is uh, throw away HP ball on them. So you get that nice cut. And it only takes a couple of seconds. And that's pretty much it. Now uh, with edit tab, um, you can just quickly cover everything. So here I'm punch that sensor uh, through that cube. So uh, with a box boolean, why not? And I go here, the faces, and just do a age bevel lock lee. So uh, so it's all nice there. And then I get the, this wet shading, so I'm going to edit and hit quick smoothing. So there is uh, this nice shading, this more cooler shading. There you go. And. If you want to uh, transfer uh, settings of operations, so here selecting an edge, uh, hitting the installation hotkey, so I can throw a quick bevel here, and adjusting the resolution using my hotkey, cycle through to cycle through power meters, and then I can just uh, transfer uh, the last operation. I hope. There you go, or with that one, there you go, and it works for uh, several objects as well, uh, if that object has some, there you go, there you go, so basically you get it, and it works with uh, edge bevel, as well as all bevelers uh, of Chris Plus, uh, of course, except uh, Shep Schiffler. So, and I'm gonna throw some density here. So, uh, going to edit, transfer last, and I can propagate my. H bevel settings or just like that and you have toggle last which uh, puts you into context so you can adjust everything uh, with your meter mouse button again And you have bake button and bake selected. So bake button so uh, uh, kind of allows you to uh, erase history uh, from the button. So hitting it, and then we get no history. And bake selected uh, gonna just uh, erase um, past uh, the node. You've selected so if I select uh, polycube 10 and bake selected uh, it's baked and if I select poly merge and hit bake selected polycube uh, uh, just uh, get baked too so it just baked everything's behind <coughs> now uh, with the shelf um, 
it's just to to populate the shelf you can shelf you can just uh, uh, hold control uh, and middle mouse button and drag that into the shelf here. And uh, for the display, because we haven't seen the display, uh, basically what it is 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 it allows you to have a real-time display of the hot hedges with auto display. So you can quickly see how the, this becomes uh, soft edges. You have all the hot edges. And so with that one you can just uh, see before uploading any bevelous uh, what are the hard edges, what are the soft edges. So I get what I'm saying. Then you have... Um, select uh, hot edges just gonna select uh, the hot hedges that belongs to the selected objects and so you can perform different actions on it like uh, bring a default bevel or per se so here's the default level and finally you've got well let's say it all that mess finally you've got uh, x-ray which just gonna allow you to uh, see through your objects So that's all, uh, up to see you soon.